Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this programmable relay timer with voltage trigger. The model is XYLJ02. Let's get started with this. This module, due to its uh, capability that it can go up to uh, 9,999 9, minutes, uh, it can be used for many applications. And it, you can use a switch to start it. And for example, the relay can turn on for a preset time and it will turn off for preset time. Or you can program it that it can do the same tasks, let's say 10 times, 20 times, 9,000 times, whatever, it's almost unlimited so you can set the relay to turn on turn off and also you can interrupt the process by s switching here or maybe receiving signal from a charger from another device or a circuit and it it's uh, all a little limited because it has only seven different features and this seven feature will make it very useful uh, module with a price i purchased this from aliexpress as you can see it shows six dollar sixty cents i think I've purchased it a little higher with $2.29 shipping to Canada. Depending on your location, you might see different price. I'll provide the link for AliExpress in case if you want to purchase it. I have no affiliation with this store. First, have a look at the specification of this. This is the input, the operating voltage uh, can be from 6 to 30 volts. You can connect your power supply here or you can connect it via USB, power this app. Currently, I've connected it to a USB because it was easy and I'm using my power supply to trigger this. And these three pins are for trigger. This is the ground and that is the high trigger and this is the low trigger. High trigger can be triggered uh, from 3 to 24 volts so any voltage above 3 volts will be considered as trigger and the low is between 0 to 0 0.2 volts it can tr trigger it as a low trigger we have here this relay the relay is rated at 10 ampere at 28 volts DC and 120 and 240 or 250 uh, AC in terms of rating pay attention if you're in North America uh, with a voltage of 120 volts multiplied by 10 will be 1.2 kilowatt load and if you are in Europe and Asia or in a region that is 220 or 240 volts just put another zero in front of 220 it will be 2200 watt or 2.2 kilowatt because it's 10 ampere we just add one zero and if you're using also uh, DC 24 volts just put a zero it will be 240 watt if you overload this the device will melt and uh, it will be a hazard of fire terminals for the relay or this is normally closed and this is normally open and you will connect your two wires at to the, these two terminals because this has an LED here I will not connect external connect external road this light will tell me that the relay is on uh, or off and here we have four uh, buttons, push buttons. This is stop, this is set, up and down, up and down are intuitive. These are a little tricky, which I'm going to explain. The pens have been labeled here as high, high trigger, ground, and then low. I will be using it with high trigger. The trigger works the same for both cases. And because the trigger can be up to 24 volts in order to keep the system safe, they, they have been optically isolated using these two optocouplers. Voltage will not reach the device when you trigger it. And here we have a DC to DC converter here, which converts the voltage to 5 volts. And the three pin here, these two pins are uh, these two pins are normally closed. So this is the normally closed. This is a common, and this is normally open. At this point, uh, you can see we have ground. This is labeled ground TX or X. If we put three pins, this you can send commands using USB from computer and control and set this from computer from command line. 
but I'm not sure if I will be doing it. I have to see this. Uh, if there is interest for that, I will do it. So make sure to subscribe so you can get updates on this as well. Width of this module is 38.4 millimeters. Length is 80.1 millimeters. And the height is 18.7 millimeters. Uh, this is an example diagram for this XY LG02 relay timer with display. And this is an example of an AC bulb. It can be any load AC or DC. This is just an example. Uh, one of the wire will go directly to the load. The other wire must go through the relay to this pin to the middle. And from this point where it is normally open, you will put another wire here to your load. And when this relay energizes, these two wires will be connected and your load will be turned on. On this side, these two terminals, plus minus, I have also labeled them here, negative and positive. You can connect this to a 6 to 24 volts. Internally, this will convert the voltage to 5 volts. So this system and display and all of these will work with 5 volts. And I'm using a push button switch to trigger it. From this negative, a green wire you can see is connected to this point. From this 3 pin, the middle one is negative. And from the positive, it goes to the switch. When you push the switch, the signal will come to this point and it will trigger. And if you need to do the negative trigger, this is the negative trigger. Instead of connecting it to positive, connect it to the negative and that will be a negative trigger. And if you're, if you're trying to trigger this using an external source, for example, if you're trying from external source, not this push button, then this will be your negative and this will be your positive. Disconnect this and disconnect this. Let's see how generally we can set the values. Then we go from P1 to P7 with an example. To, to go from this screen, this is now ready at program 7. To change the value, or let's go for program 1 or any other program, press set and hold it for a few seconds. And you will see the set and P will be flashing here. So this is now P7. Up and down will allow you to change it. You can go up or down. And this way, you can set the value, let's say, in 1. After that, if you press the set again, the blinking jumps there. Now, this one, when you see the dot, one dot, it means it's a second. Right now, it's 5.5 .5 seconds. And, and if I want to change it, if I press this up, the decimal point will increment until it reaches to the second, it will increase. And if I hold it continuously, slowly, it will speed up. That's very nice. You see, it's speeding up. The longer you hold it, the faster it will run. And after setting it, maybe up and down. And now if I press, uh, for example, this button, you see the decimal point went to the left, so which means we have more precision on the value and if I do it again you will see three dots when you see the three decimal points or dots this is now in minute 198 minutes that's very long so pay attention if I press it again now this is just second 198 seconds no decimal point perhaps you will be using it this mode because point something will be very precise and I don't think relay will be used for that purpose And if I press this again, again the decimal point comes and that is with one decimal point in second. Now we are in P and you see OP. This OP means the operated whatever they meant. So when OP is here, the time that the relay is on will be called OP here. And P1, P2 and P3 will have it. But if I uh, go let's say how we exit let's say you set the time if you press this again it will bring here and the blinking will come to the p and hold it for two to three seconds and release the set will disappear now it's ready at program one let's go back let's say for program four five let's go five blinking five and if i press this now this is op that turn on time 
And if I press this again, you will see CL. This is off time. You can set, for example, at four seconds, it should be off. And OP was the time for on. If I press this again, now you will see LP. LP is the loop. This makes sense, it's, uh, you will remember it, loop. Now two means this will do the task of turning on at OP time and turning off the relay at CL time twice. This LP mean loop and you can set 9999 times. You can repeat the same thing. And again, press this, the blink will come here and hold it and you will exit. Now let's uh, start with P1. Press and hold it for about three seconds and release. You will see the set. Now this is blinking. Go with down or up. So now we are in P1. When you press it for the second time, the OP will be turned on. <coughs> and then at the same time, you can change the time in here. Now, if this is blinking, this is a second. If I press this stop, the decimal point appear and now we are 0 0.6 seconds. If I press it again, it's 0 0.06 seconds. And if I press it again, now the three dot means this is minute. This is six minutes, very long. Press it again, disappear. Now this is six seconds. I can go up and down and change it. And I'm setting it at six seconds. If I press this again, it comes back to the program. Now, if I hold this for about three seconds and let go, the set will disappear. Now, that disappeared and the system is ready. P1 needs a trigger. Now, if I press this trigger, it goes for six seconds, turn on, and it goes off. Let me do it again. At this time, if I press it again, nothing happens. As you can see, the countdown continues. Let's go for P2. Hold it. And now press up. Now it's P2. Press this again. This is the timing. You can change the time. Again, we are in OP, up and down. Nothing else will come. So set the time, let's say this is 6 seconds, come here and press it and hold it for 3 seconds. Now it is set on program. This is exactly the same as before but with a little difference. When I press it, this, the relay is on now, your load is on. After 6 seconds it will turn on. But here is the difference. When the program is running, if you press this, the time will reset. You see, I, every time I press it, it goes reset. So this is P2. Now P3. Go and set the time. Of course, I can send 5.6 seconds. For example, let me do it. And This is 5.6 seconds. Again, it's OP. When I press it, it comes here. Hold and release. Now, P3. 5.6 seconds. It goes down. The load is on. Now it's off. Now let's see what is the effect of switch. Anytime if I press, it will just turn off. When you press the trigger or the signal comes, it's just resetting. For example, this is now running. It will just turn it off. So this was P3. Now, now let's go for P4. Now if I press this again, this is OP. You can set the time. Let's say we, are, we accept 5.5. And then if I press this again, you will see CL. That is, this CL means cancel. The relay will be turned off. The time that you want the relay to be turned off is this one. Now we can change the time. I'm leaving it at four. And if I press it again, it comes here. Press and let go. Now, 
This is, as you can see, it, so it shows the, uh, can the cutoff, the time that the relay is off is 4 seconds and 5.5 was when it was on. Now let's press it. It starts from CL and then goes on and it will turn off. And if I, at the moment it is running, if I press this, it has no effect. P5. Up, now we are in P5. Press it, so you set the time for OP, and press this again for CL. And if I press this again, now you see that we have LP. That is the loop. When you are in loop mode, you can change, I set it for two, two loops. You can set it for 9,999 loops. And then press and hold, exit. Now, you see OP appeared, it will turn on for 5.5 seconds and turn off for 4 seconds. And then again 5.5 and 4 and will stop. Because the loop is 2, every action will be repeated twice. Now it is running. If I press it, it will just stop. Now it is running. Once, and now this is the second time. And stop. Now if this is running at the middle, if I press this, it will turn it off for P5. Let's go for P6. This is the on time. This is the off time, CL, 4 seconds. I'm not changing it, but if you wish, you can change it. And then again we have loop 2, so it will, go if it will do the same thing twice. And then hold and exit. Now this time this does not have any effect. As soon as the power is on, it will go and do the on time and then off time. And it will stop after two loops. Let me disconnect it so you can see P6 again. Now this is disconnected. As soon as I connect, it will be 5.5 .5 on, 4 off, and 5.5 .5 on, and 4 off, and it will stop twice. So P6 doesn't need any trigger. As soon as the system is turned on, it will take an effect. Now let's go for P7. This is P7. 5.5, let's leave it like that. And as you can see, there is no CL, just OP. Exit. Now pay attention here. This is different. If I trigger it, you will see that it looks like just P2, but the difference is this. This is triggered at uh, falling edge, which means when you turn on the switch, it will not affect. When you release, it will affect. Let, let's see, you see? Now it's blinking, it means the signal is there, it's just waiting, 5.5 .5 is not counting down. If I release it, then it will start. And that's it. Thank you for watching, this was how to use this XY LG02 timer relay with display. If you like this video and learn something, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, please post it in the comment section below.